Good morning. Yes. Friday again. Another week has gone by. Yeah. Very, very happy to see you all during the Zoom classes. This week has been amazing. I'm very, very impressed on how you're working, how you're participating. Yeah. We're really, really on track now. We're working super well. So congratulations to all, okay? Fantastic, fantastic work during this week. I've been receiving some feedbacks from your parents and from you guys during the classes in mails. So that is lovely, thank you so, so much. For today, three things, English, math and geography yeah for geography it's going to be a long word so be ready okay mentally ready and physically ready okay because it's going to be a lot a lot of work yeah so before we go out on to something new in english let's just go one or two steps back yeah who can remember what we were seeing this week. We saw two different things up to now. We saw adding, adding ing, you remember ing? And also we saw the prefixes. going on with the adding ENG. We had three different ways. The first one, it can be in different order, that's, that's not a problem, okay? You can put them in the order you want, but there's three different ones. The first one is just adding ING to the word. Okay. Then we had the second one, which was doubling the last letter when the word had a short sound. Yeah? So, doubling last letter when it's a short sound. A short sound. Such as, for example, put. Put. Super short. Put. So I have to double the last letter. Yeah? And the third one. What was the third one? Let me close my computer so just in case you can't see. The third one, excellent, was eliminating the E. Yeah? Do you remember that one? Eliminating the last E. We eliminated. Yeah? Like in what word could it be, for example? With an E at the end. They're normally silent E's. So we see it written, but we don't hear it. Mm? For example, in hope. You see, when I say hope, yeah, hope, not hop. Okay, I hope tomorrow it will rain. I hope that my mother will bring me a chocolate cake. It's like a desire. It's something that you want to happen, okay? I hope we go back to school soon. 
something that all your energy is into that. Yeah? But we can't hear the last E, hope. So I eliminate it. Sorry. And I just add ing. Now, the prefixes. Prefixes. I'm almost sure. There we go. Yeah. Prefixes. The word pre means before. Yeah? For example, pre kinder. Before kinder. Before kindergarten. Okay? So the word pre means before. Yes? And what are prefixes? There are letters joined together that go bef before a word. Why are these important? Because thanks to a prefix, prefix the word changes the meaning. Okay? It changes the meaning completely round. For example, if I say happy, yeah? We all know what happy means, don't we? Yeah, we do. I'm happy, something happened, I'm smiling, I'm excited, right? But if I add a prefix to the word and I write unhappy, do these two mean the same? Well, no, they don't, do they? They actually mean the complete opposite. So we could say now that these are antonyms. Yes or no? You remember about the antonyms? Yeah? Opposites, happy, unhappy. Let me get another cover. Unhappy. Let's go with another type of prefix. If I say I agree, you tell me something and I say, oh, I agree with that, yeah, that's fine with me. Let's go to the zoo today. Okay, yeah, I agree. Yeah, we can go to the zoo later. That means positive, right? But if I write, I disagree. Do these two words mean the same? Well, not anymore, do they? They're completely different. One is positive and the other one Let's go to the zoo today. No, I totally disagree. It's going to rain, it's cold, it's going to be windy. No. Completely different words. Even though the root word, the root word, the main word is the same. <coughs> the root word is the same. But thanks to the prefix, it changes completely. Yeah? Super. Now, I'm going to leave this just here. It doesn't matter. Okay? Today we're going to learn about something different. Yeah? We're going to learn about homophones. Listen to the word. Homophones. Homophones. A words that sound the same when we're talking when we're singing they sound the same <coughs> but they have different meanings yeah so for example finally I erase it because I need the board you see when you think you're going to do something, then you change your mind. Okay. For example, yeah? 
if I've got this word, two, and two, 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 they sound the same, but they have different meanings. I use them in different moments. Two, the number two. Two, too much noise, for example. Too much noise, too cold, too windy, too hot. Sound the same, different meanings. Yes? Flower and flower. Two words, we write them differently. We pronounce them the same. We say them exactly the same, but they have different meanings. Flower, exactly. A flower and flower. We use flour to cook. We use flour to cook bread, to cook cakes, to cook our meals, right? That white powder that we use in the kitchen for cooking. Flour and flour. Two words said the same. Different meaning. We use them in different moments. Yeah? Another one before we go to the book and explain better. This one's a good one. No and no. I know a lot about animals. I know a lot about Chile. I would love to know about your countries, where you come from. No, you can't go to the toilet. No, it's not break time yet. No, it's not snack time yet. This no is this one. No. This one is a verb to know. Okay, same pronunciation, different writing, different meaning. Yeah? Okay, let's go to it now. Here we go. Homophones are words that sound the same but have different spelling and different meanings. They sound the same, sound the same. Different writing, completely different writing in this one, right? They don't even start with the same letter. And different meaning. For example, here we've got two pictures and the girl says, I love the fair, the fun fair. Fair. And then the next picture she says, I had to pay the fare to go on a ride. The fare. Fair, a place where you've got games and rides to go on to, right? The fare, the ticket. The ticket to go on to the game. So, this one is a place, and this one is a ticket. You pay some money, you receive a ticket, and you can go on to the game, yeah? Let's practice, it says. Copy out the lists and match the homophone pairs by joining them with a line. This activity 
for the ones who printed the page out, yeah, you can do it on the page, okay? If not, you will have to copy it from the computer onto a page, yeah? But we're going to do it together anyhow now. So, the words are hair, let me write them here for you. Hair, flower, peace, wait, no, and hair again. So, I've got here, flower, peace, wait, no, and hair. And on the other side we've got peace, hair, wait. Here, flower, and no. Okay, before we start joining and matching, we need to understand what the words are. Here, to hear, to listen. Flower, beautiful flowers, right? Peace, peace and love. Peace, we don't want any more wars, we want peace in the world. Wait, wait, no, to know, and here, it's a kind of rabbit. Do you remember the story, the hare and the tortoise? That's the one, it's a very fast kind of rabbit. A piece, a piece of cake, a piece of bread. Here, wait, my weight, how much I weigh. If I'm fat, I'm overweight. If I'm thin, I'm underweight. Here. Flower. I did an E there to that flower. And no. Okay. So, here. Here. Peace, hair, weight, here, flower, no. Good job. Here goes with here. Fantastic. What about flower? Flower. Peace. Here. Wait. Flower? No. They sound exactly the same as you can see. Peace. Peace. Wait. Our wait. No. No. And here. Here. As you can see, as you can see, all these words sound the same. Well, not all of them all together, right? But yes, with their pairs. They sound the same. We use them at different moments because they have a different meaning. Yeah? We don't use, oh, I'm overweight. No, I'm overweight. But the more we write and the more we read, we're able to distinguish which one we use when, or how do we spell them. When we go back to school, this game is going to be a super witch with the spelling, okay? We're going to have start having lots of spelling tests okay now very soon we're going to start again with our spelling logs okay so we can do it during our zoom classes okay so three things this week adding ing prefixes before the word before the word and homophones words that sound the same but have completely different meaning sorry I got a fright something fell off my wall <laughs> okay 
So, have a short break. Yeah? We're coming back to math. Nothing new in math this week. No, not this week, today. We're just going to review what we've seen. Yeah? But let's try and do it the best we can. 